Anna was born in uh, July 2004. Anna became very athletic. She loved skiing, she loved playing tennis. In February 2020, we went skiing. She had a lot of fun skiing and we didn't notice anything. Until the end of May 2020, she got uh, weaker and weaker. She couldn't hold up her head anymore. She couldn't walk long distances anymore. Um, she couldn't swallow anymore. Only at the moment that these genetic findings um, were explained to us um, that, that it, 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 uh, well, it, it was a shock that it was ALS. The whole world stood still. In Germany, all the ALS doctors, they just said, no way of, um, of curing this uh, disease, no hope. We talked to Dr. Schneider and he told us at once that this form of ALS is very aggressive. 16-year-olds don't get ALS. They're not supposed to have this disease. July 2021, uh, we noticed at home, we noticed some progress, like she was, uh, it was easier for her to climb upstairs. Anna's situation is complicated. She, she had an event, an acute event, where her um, airway was blocked, she developed pneumonia, so she had an acute illness. So she, she lost a lot of ground while she was in the hospital. I've seen enough of these P525L you know, kids, so they, they, they don't get better, right? They, you know, there's no reason or no other way to explain you know, her situation other than we may be doing something good here. Now you look at her and you know, she has extraordinary head control. Uh, you know, she stood from a seated position on the floor with minimal help. She, she walks upstairs with, um, she, she walks around with her ventilator. I mean, it's really unmistakable improvement and that's really lovely to see. It was a miracle for us as well. Yeah. The big hope we have now is that it, uh, it works, that she can have a happy life.